Hello, this is Chris Menard. Zoom has a great feature for meetings. When you're scheduling a meeting, you can require registration. So today's video, I'm going to cover how to set up a registration before your meeting, uh, how to customize the registration form, including your company logo and including possibly a cool image with a logo about what the registration and the meeting is about. Uh, how registration handles with polling because I'm a big fan of the polling feature. So let me go ahead and get started. Just to let you know this only works with the paid account. It will not work with the Zoom basic account which is your free account. So this is paid only. And also this is one time you have to come to the Zoom website to schedule the meeting. You don't use the Zoom client or app to schedule it. And you don't schedule it in Outlook or um, Google Calendar. You schedule this using the Zoom website. So I've already signed in with my paid account. I'm going to go to Meetings, Schedule a New Meeting. I'm making this up. We have a new product launch. I could put a very detailed description and I recommend you do. Right now, I just want to keep this short, test the description to show you it works. I'm going to leave it for today at 3 p.m. One hour, I could change that again, but here you go. Registration required. I went and looked in the basic or free account, and this is not there, but I do want to require registration. If you require registration, you must have a generate automatically meeting ID. It will not handle the personal meeting IDs. So that's why Generate Automatically is already selected. Other optional features, this is all optional stuff. But down here, yes, I probably would enable the waiting room still. And I'm going to hit Save. So offset right now is I've scheduled a meeting from Zoom's website. I haven't done anything extra that I couldn't have done through the Zoom client except required is here. That's the one thing you have to do from the website and that's why I'm here because I do want registration required. Save it. So now the meeting saved. If you notice, if I go back to meetings, there's my meeting. Click it once. I didn't have to go there. I just want to show you that it did create that meeting already. Your registration is all the way at the very bottom. So I'm going to scroll down. Registration, branding, poll, email settings. These are options I may tweak and change. By default, when someone registers with the registration form, they'll be automatically approved. I want to manually approve people, so I'm going to go to edit. Manually approve. I'm making this example up. Maybe um, because this is a new product launch, this meeting is only for existing clients. So if I don't see an existing client's domain, I may not approve them as an example. Um, maybe this meeting is only for people that work at a certain company. Again, I'm looking for a certain domain. Other options here. This is really cool. By default, when you register, you obviously have to put in your email and your first or last name. So I did manually approve. I'm going to go to questions. First name and email address are required. Well, I also want to know if somebody's last name is required. But then I'm going to do some optional stuff. I want to know what city they're in, but I'm going to leave that unchecked. Again, organization, leave it unchecked. If they want to tell me, that's great. And possibly a job title. So I should end up with three required fields. First name and email, which are always required. But I've also required the last name. What's cool about registration is you can do your own custom questions. I'm going to save this for another video though. So everything is good here and I'm manually approving. So save all. Watch this cool feature. So now that I've set up a meeting with registration and I've said manually and added questions, when I send out the registration link, I want to have some branding going on. Two different items you can upload. One is your logo. That could also, by the way, be 
That could also be a picture of whoever is running the meeting, the speaker in other words, but I'm gonna actually put my logo there. So upload, I've already got this set up right here. Watch this, there's that. And I'm just making this up. So I'm using a banner from a webinar that I ran for the University of Georgia just to use this, but it'll be something close to that. I know that that's not the right date and all that, but I'm just showing you how to do this. So I've got those two loaded. So now when someone gets the registration link, which is right at the top of the page, I'm just going to copy it. And this is what it'll look like. When someone receives this, they'll click on it in their email and they will get this page right here. That is what my registration page looks like. New product launch member, the description would be fairly detailed. I've been playing in here. That's why the name was already in here. I've been, so you didn't have to sit there and watch me type. You would type in first name, last name, email, you type it in twice. But notice the last three fields I said were optional and they are. You don't have to fill those in if you don't want to. When I click register, because I selected manually back in my settings, uh, I'm acting like I'm Susan Davis. Susan Davis is not going to get an email yet with the meeting link because I've got a manually go approver. So I'm going to hit register. I'm going to minimize this browser. I'm back in zoom.us, signed into my account. I'm looking at this meeting at the bottom. And there you go. Manage attendees, registrants is the number one. I've got manually approved turned on, but by the way, I did get an email, so I hit edit. Do I want to allow Susan Davis into this meeting? I check out her email address and I say, sure. The minute I hit approve, then Susan Davis gets an email with the meeting link to join. Also, when I do polling, I want to know what Susan Davis picked when I'm running my polling. By the way, that was my email and my phone just, I just got an email by the way. So that did work. Let me know if you have any questions about Zoom's meeting registration feature. I really love this feature. Uh, it's great right here. This is a great feature. Also, just to let you know, yesterday we did a live Q&A answering Zoom questions on YouTube. Um, there it is right there. I've put in bookmarks and chapters in there. Um, we weren't expecting to go live. We're just testing to see if our OBS was working and it was. We ended up going for 38 minutes, as you can see. I'm going to do another one this weekend. Uh, if you're into that, let me know in the comments section or if you have any questions, feel free to ask them now so I can be ready for them. Thank you for your time. Everybody, everyone enjoy the rest of their weekend. Have a good day. Bye-bye.